Yeah, you. All right. There's nothing else to fucking do, is there, to be honest? <laughs> but don't worry, you should have seen the last match I was fucking in. I was 5 1 up. I was. F You've literally got rid of everybody else. Oh, fucking hell. I was 5-1 up against this kid, right? And I was playing some really good stuff. I was 5-1 up and all of a sudden, he starts making this great fucking comeback. I'm like, how the fuck have I gone from 5-1 up? This is, this is like, we're nearly, we're, we're, it's like 5-3 at half time. And it's like, how the fuck is he making this comeback? I won it eventually like 9-8 and I was like, oh my Christ. That's one nil. Oh. Oh, the passing's gone crap again. So who've you actually got left? You literally got him Nick Pope and Mbappe and that's literally it. I don't know why I'm getting the steamrolled, so I'm already two nil down. I tell you you would not want to qualify for foot champs and actually play the actual foot champs thing. Because I tell you what. It is so difficult. <laughs> I tell you what, they've got to stop playing you against the fucking superior people who've got everybody in their team. Because you just basically know you're not standing... Fuck's sake. <laughs> See, look at the... Look, I mean... This is my argument. Look at the fucking pace. 3 0. Oh, God's sake. Oh, he wins every fucking tackle. Fucking hell. I'll tell you what, I'm so debating whether to play FIFA 23 on the team because if it's going to just continue to be the same the way this is going I honestly can't be asked anymore they've really sucked their life and enjoyment out of this game I can't even fucking oh my Christ I tell you what the rewards are shit as well on every other mode you play like the squat Well, because you haven't got enough players. Why? Can you not afford any packs? How many coins have you got? You've basically got rid of all your team and you've only got like two players left. Why can't you use them? Oh, you yeah, haven't got enough to put a bench up either. Shit, man. You've had a really bad day. You're like, I wish you would tell me. Like, I did say you can talk to me. What's bothering you so much? You had a bad day at school or something. What, like, what, what's going on? Like, it would help if you talk, tell me, because I could try and help you. How? Why can't I help you? Why?
Well, no, if, if you could t maybe if you try and tell me, maybe I can give you some advice and some support. Well, just tell me. Just tell me, you know. Without asking, you don't. Without asking, you don't get. What? What's wrong? What for? Like, what happened? Like, why did you like? Right, so that's one. What else is going on? So it's basically that. So that's what, like, come on, like, you've told me one thing, what's the other thing? If it's to do with football, remember, football isn't everything. Yeah, and that's going to solve hardly anything. It won't. Violence is not the answer, because you just get into heap loads of trouble. Yeah, see, that's the attitude you don't need, because it won't get you anywhere in life. No, because I tell you what, you, you carry on, right, with that attitude, you, you'll soon get kicked out. Your education's important, you need to start thinking about because you don't want them to end up calling your dad in because your dad doesn't need the stress. Do you know what I mean? You need to start thinking a bit more logically, thinking like you need to try and talk to people, like you can trust me, like whatever's going on you can tell me. I'm not gonna judge you on it. you don't talk, you don't actually get the help you need. And what else has happened today what's fucked you off? Why don't you just tell me now, because I'm right here. I've, I've come up, I've basically come up to come talk to you. Like, what's going on? Like, if you don't tell me, I can't help you. Why can't you tell me now? Because why? Alright. What I'm saying, the more you bottle it in, the more it upsets you, so it's good to get it out and you open. No, we just, all you've got to do is just talk to me. God, I'm not going to judge whatever it is you can tell me. Right. Yeah, yes, I do, because I am in that group. Well, I don't really want to speak it out, say it out loud, but I can kind of get where you're going with it. Just say, just, oh my god, just say. Right, yeah. What, this person in the group chat you're on about? Right. Oh, don't worry about her. Honestly, she's not worth it. If she's going to treat you like that, she doesn't deserve your kindness. Well, well don't worry about her. She, that's, that's her. That's not your fault.
Oh, just oh, don't. That's because they're trying to make you jealous. Don't fall for their tactics. There's plenty of fish in the sea. I think you've told me that. So. She's not. Well, she cheated on you. She's not worth it. You need to get over it. She's not worth it if she cheats. Or don't don't let her, don't. I know it piss you. I know it will piss you off. It. I know how it feels. Must have had it happen to me. So. Yeah. When I was at school, yeah. No, because they're really mature at their age. Oh, don't worry, it will soon come back to bite her on the ass one day with all this cheating she's done. Because it won't... It won't. That's, well, she's not worth any time thinking about, really, because she's not worth it. You'll find somebody, it's just going to take time. Don't, don't those things you don't really need to worry about. Let them worry about that, not you. Oh, fuck's sake, Van Dyke. Well, that's their fault. That's that. That's them to deal with it, not you. Not really. Perfectly natural. Well, it doesn't matter because we're quite close in age, so it doesn't really matter. Ref! Wow, in booking. What a cunt. You just need to not rush it, because I'm not chasing anymore. You're too busy chasing. Don't chase what's not possible. Don't chase what's not possible. Don't try, because oh, I'm taking a back. I'm taking a back step. Now I'm not too. I'm not chasing. But if someone wants to be with me, and they like me. They got to come to me. I'm not doing it to them. I'm not chasing anymore. Let them come to you. <laughs> That's the type of girl she is then, she sleeps around and fucking dates boy after boy. You don't... <laughs> oh, 
Well, that's you don't. Well, if that's what type of person is, you don't let her let her carry on because it will soon, like I said, come back to bite her one day. You need to stop worrying about other people and you need to start focusing on yourself a bit more. But you're not doing it enough though. You're worried about other people that ain't really, you know. I don't know what you're talking about because I've been through it myself, so I know how it feels. Oh, here we go again with FIFA. You've run out of contracts for your players. Oh, what a surprise. doesn't listen. All these coins are about to fucking go. This is the problem with this game. Fuck's sake. Every time I try and play, all your players are running out of contracts. This is, this is absolutely pathetic for a game. It's so unrealistic. I found literally one contract thing. Are you actually having a laugh? God fucking knows, I don't... Yeah. Edit teams. Club... Club transfers. How's that list and expired? Oh, for fuck. Come on, FIFA. How's all your listings expired? I ain't going to have no fucking coins available for FIFA 23, so you're having to fucking spend them on contracts. This is, this is getting actually really sad for FIFA. To tell you what, this is not realistic for a game. This is really not realistic for a game. You don't see fucking clubs having to do this in real life. No, like, this is unrealistic. You don't have to renew a player's contract every day. I'm, I'm sick of it. Is that, is that all the contracts they do? Oh, my Christ, I'm in big trouble. Well, if I'm having to spend money, my coins, to fucking renew my player's contracts. Again. Because Haaland has run out. I mean, this is so unfair. Because I'm going to have to go... Fucking most of these have got to go on early in fucking Haaland. I mean... This is the problem. They need to... Just going to 
probably do a need to do an update on the game. I can't even get my team playing, which is like, I can't seem to get the best out of this team now. It's good to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, we'll do updates on the game for you. This is so unrealistic for FIFA. What are you expected to do? I'm so glad I've got a coins because I'd actually be screwed. Going for five, eight, or nine nil to this kid. How's he going to penalty away, you stupid idiot? He fucking saved how what he fucking saved that fuck so that's a glorious opportunity to go one nil fucking up and he's about to fuck up the other end and no he fucking ain't the amount of tackles he's putting in fuck off And by the way, I'm playing like a team of icons. All the starting 11 are icons. No. Nope. See what I mean? I don't stand. No, basically. Oh, how has he done? Not yet. Why? Well, tell him to move it then. No, not really. <laughs> Be a bit concerning if that was real. Well, we'll keep it away from fucking me then. Ref, he's ref, he's brought his goalkeeper has brought me down to the ground and you say, oh no, it's not a penalty. Fuck it, our decision how are they getting so much fairer decisions? Fuck's sake. You were such he was Chelsea's goalkeeper, yeah, a very long time ago. Yeah, yeah, six years ago, very long time ago. That is three times! Oh, I'm sick of this. This kid's got to be beat. Oh, look at him making no weather pass is being made. Oh, I'm sick of this. This has got to stop on FIFA 20. If they do not stop this, I am not playing FIFA 23 on the team. Because it's just unfair. Ref! Four times! He's blocked me in the box! <laughs> oh, bloody no. See, 
Oh my Christ! See, I'm never going to be able to get to that big coin stage when you win 100,000 coins on foot chance because you're just getting fucking battered all the time. Fuck's sake. You can... See, oh, you give him a free kick, but don't give me half a penalties. That's what she said. To pass that fucking play it. Well, I think we, I think I don't generally do know what it is, but I'm just not saying. It's a very good point. Good goal, by the way, Rashford. And when you add these contracts onto the players, it ups their rating on all their abilities as a player, but it does absolutely fuck all. Oh, I'm so done with all these skill moves. Why do they have to do them? It makes them look so sad. So you can't... On ultimate team. No, but they don't need to do fucking skill moves. It's like, look at the passing as well. How do they get a pass so fucking right? Uh, oh my Christ. Imagine, imagine in a few weeks' time, right, when FIFA 23 Ultimate Team's out and they ain't got Ultimate Team on it, and it's like, oh, must got Ultimate Team on. Well, we got rid of it. Why? Because it's crap. Oh, the... I'll tell you, people would end up complaining. Why have you got rid of Ultimate Team for them? Let me think why they've got rid of it. I'm never going to actually, you know what, I, 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 I basically just want to have Ronaldo own so I can actually say I've owned him on this game. No, I just want Ronaldo so at least I know I've had him in my team. Like, you know, it's just, it's not for much to ask for. But you look at the pricing, you're like, how the fuck are people meant to, like, afford, like, how much would fucking two million cost on fucking Ultimate Team to buy him? It's price. How much would that cost, like in pounds? How much would that like? That's like yeah, basically shit. To, oh, he's got a lucky through ball. Fuck off. I can beat this kid. Well, I hope so. I hope so. And what is really annoying is how quick they'll have fucking Fortnite back up on Sunday as well. Oh, Fortnite. It'll be... The servers will be down from 2 in the morning on Sunday. And yeah, that's Sunday. And the servers will be down from 2 in the morning onwards. Right till like 9am our time. So I want a different fucking map on that game. I'm so bored of this map now. Because it's, it's just it's just predictable. You know where you're going on the map all the time. Yeah, I know where Reality Falls is. I know where the Joneses is. You basically you know which which place is going to be what. Imagine if they only adjust how the colours look on the map. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake, is that all you did? Yeah. Imagine if they actually do it for colour adjustment. I'd be like, what the fuck? Was it even was it even worth it? And the problem is, it will go down again at Christmas. This will last about Christmas time, and then, it'll, and then it will go down again. Oh, brilliant. Look at our new map. Yeah. What new map? They won't put... They won't put a new map on the game. Oh, God, that lodge thing again. Oh, God. Oh, do you remember that lodge thing? It, it, it's a... It... It's fucking... Uh, but except the Christmas presents from the lodge will be, like, like really, really shit. Except the Christmas presents Fortnite gives you will just be a load of crap. 
I just can't understand why they didn't put any like V bucks in those Christmas bags in a lodge on that time. Or even a thousand would just be like really helpful. Fuck's sake. I'm done with all these I'm done with all these players having the best players now. It's so unfair. Could you imagine if they don't actually do like team of the season cards and they literally just only do gold and silver players on FIFA 23? People will be fucking losing their shit. No, imagine if they don't even have them. I love how some players have really got to try on here because they don't want to lose their reputation as a bad ultimate team player. I mean, I'm not that bad at it. Just get really fed up when it puts you up against opponents. You know you're not going to win. Because all these icon cards have got to go. They really have got to get rid of them. It's not realistic. But it's not. You don't see them coming out of retirement in real life and playing like competitively, like properly. They only come out and play for like expedition matches for charity and stuff. You don't see them actually playing in real life situations. Because I can't get half past their players. You can't even put a tackle in on half their players now. And then it's like, imagine when Ronaldo and Messi become my con players. Imagine how difficult it's going to become then. I have like 99 rating for everything. And it's funny how they know every pass you're playing as well. I hate when it lags me when I'm on the attack as well. Honestly, if I get paid early tomorrow, I'm going to go and get that Wi-Fi extender. If I get paid early tomorrow because of bank holiday, I'm going to go and get this fucking Wi-Fi extender because I can't keep playing like this. And I'll tell you what, I might just go and get an external hard drive tomorrow as well because I need some room on this console. Oh my, yeah, potentially, yeah. I hate on I hate when they bring their goalkeeper out. Van Dyke, one of the best centre backs in the world, can't even defend on FIFA. Mentioning Van Dyke, he's literally just mentioned Van Dyke, he's actually just scored for me. <laughs> yeah. And what on this actually on the feet oh right, okay. Should have fucking scored that, bruv. Potentially, that could well. The way Man City, are, the way Man City are carrying on, yeah.
ref, that's denying a goal scoring opportunity. But he's been going, I can't believe I've just lost to this B-Tech. Get in! How have I just won that? Oh my Christ. Don't tell me contract. Back to the transfer thing then. Since expired, what a load of crap. This is expired. Buy that one. That one. So I mean, the game knows what it's doing by basically making you spend all your fucking ultimate team coins. Most of these have got to go on fucking Bellingham. I mean. Let's just buy them, keep all my players happy. So if I lose my players, I'm screwed. Shouldn't have to do it, but I've got no option, have I? Got to try and keep all my players here, haven't I? Yeah, for 350, fucking too light. Buy the big, the big lot. No choice for you for really because you keep screwing up my team over 200 sick
How can they demand 5,000 for a fucking contract? No wonder I can't get any decent fucking players. So I'm too busy having to renew my players' contracts every two fucking minutes. Well, this is the problem with this game. It's not realistic having to renew your players' contracts. But, you know, it's FIFA for you. Screws you up. Screws up your game. Screws up any chance of you succeeding on a game because they're making you renew your contracts all the time. It's bloody sad because it's not even realistic. You don't see you don't see football clubs in real life having to do this. If I have to use up most of my coins, it ain't my fault. actually might give me an actual chance of succeeding on this game look how many coins I've had to spend though is the issue I'm having to justify this game look at the contracts you have to buy just to keep your players I didn't have to want to spend all that but I feel like I've had no choice because this is FIFA for you Look at all the coins I've lost. Look how many I was on. This is FIFA, FIFA for you. Fucking listings expired. All the bullshit. All the listings expired now. <laughs> I didn't want to have to spend all this, but. This is the problem. I've basically got fuck all coins left. So I'm just going to keep buying these. Just to keep my players happy. Because when you run out of contracts for them, you know you're getting screwed over by FIFA. I'd love to know how many... many well, I think that's... Fucking hell. That took longer than expected. How long did that take? Fucking hell. So Bellingham. 74 contracts. Get that one on. Let's use them on him. Get them on. I don't mind just doing an episode, just doing this now. How the chemistry is not going up. some of my subs as well. <laughs> Kuka Corella as well, you're gonna need some. Look how many contracts I've had to buy. How am 
much you fucking know? I'm going to pin some on Nick Pope. Jesus. I didn't even think of bloody Varan. I'm trying to keep all my players here, so I'm going to fucking put another load on Bellingham. Bruno. Put some on Bruno. Okay. We'll go through the team again. I'm going to put a biggie on Ericsson. Let's put a big one on Pogba. Harlan's going to need a few, so let's put a chuck a big one on. I don't understand, like, how... Because it's not even up in the chemistry. Which is just really weird. <laughs> Problem is you shouldn't have to keep doing this. See, it should be up in your rating of your team. It's crazy. The boy can, yeah, the boy can have some big, another big lot on. Rodri can't have any. Can Georgina have any more put on? Just put big on Georgina. Yeah, defensively, St. Maximum's a very, very poor player. So I just, you know what? Put another big one on, big, on Nick Pope. Just get these players up. Put one on Bellingham. Bruno can have no one put on. Can you have anything there? Ericsson's got maximum. Pop has got. Just. There you go. They should keep the team happy. Harlan can't have any more put on. Can Mbappe have any more put on? Yeah. So that should be alright. It should improve the team. Can I. I got a new manager, good thing is. Can I sell these? We get nothing for it. Believable. It's how hard it's made this game to play. Jesus. <laughs> 